all right then uh, welcome back everyone so in this video uh, let's solve this question buttons so i guess this is the 14th video of our series let me read out the question for you Anna and katie ended up in a secret laboratory uh, there are a plus b plus c buttons in the laboratory it turns out that a buttons can only be pressed by anna b buttons can only be pressed by katie and c buttons can be pressed by either of them fine anna and katie decided to play a game taking turns pressing these buttons fine anna makes the first turn each button can be pressed at most once so at some point one of the girls will not be able to make her turn of course makes sense the girl who cannot press a button loses determine who will win if both girls play optimally so the question is like we have uh, three set of buttons uh, a b and c uh, a buttons can only be pressed by anna b buttons can only be pressed by kt and c buttons uh, can be pressed by either of them so basically that's a shared quota right so basically one quota is for anna one quota is for kt and one quota the c quota is for uh, both basically anyone can press it the game is pressing the button and uh, if a girl cannot press a button in her turn uh, then she loses and anna starts the game so that's the question basically and uh, let me read out the input then uh, input is nothing first t test cases and then for every test case we are given a b c fine so if uh, for each test case output first if anna wins or second if kt wins fine okay um, let's see uh, how can you think about this question this is a question based on games right so this is a question uh, based on games so like this tag won't be there but you still you would be still able to figure out this is a question based on game theory now since again it's a a rated question um, how do you think about a question on games that's my main uh, agenda for this video so what you do is uh, either you think about the optimal move either you think about the optimal move what should be the optimal move like in this move uh, what should be the optimal move of the player such that the other person loses or think about when the game ends like when the game ends what what has, what would have happened right so this is what like through my observation uh, i have found out that either you think about the optimal move uh, if you are lucky like usually it's a very simple observation otherwise think about how does the game end and then trace back from it okay it might not make sense but keep these ideas in your head anyway for this question let's try to make sense out of it let me just go to sublime here and uh, let's just uh, take this example 669 so this is a b and c right so basically this is a uh, a i'll just write in capital letters so what this means is uh, this a is a uh, k anna's quota b is kt's quota and uh, this c is a shared quota quota basically or you can say like they have uh, these are three wallets a a six uh, there are six rupees in anna's wallet six rupees in kt's wallet and nine rupees in shared wallet and now they have to spend they have to spend one rupee they have to spend one rupee uh, in every turn and anna starts basically so what should a uh, Anna do basically here. Uh, should uh, she spend uh, from her wallet like this A or from this uh, shared wallet C because she has two options right either spend from her wallet or the shared wallet. Okay so what should be the better one like intuitively it makes sense right so uh, Anna can either like do something like this if Anna takes turn if Anna takes turn then either she can do something like this the configuration become 569 so she spends from her wallet or maybe if not she can do something like this she will not spend from her wallet katie's wallet anyway is untouched and then from c the shared wallet she can spend now this is actually an optimal move if you think about it why because you are not spending your own they are not basically pressing buttons from your own quota so what benefits how does this benefit this player is like she keeps pressing the shared buttons right she keep like every every player will try the let's just uh, press like the optimal move here i'm saying is press the buttons in a shared quota why i'm saying this uh, because in the end uh, if like if a player doesn't do it for example if anna decides if anna decides to just press uh, buttons from her share, her share what katie can do is she can just uh, press the six buttons and now when anna is out of her quota she won't she won't be even having a chance to press the buttons in the shared quota right so these are like you can say uh, sorry this is a shared quota right so why pressing the button in the shared quota makes sense is you have nothing to lose you have nothing to lose you're not losing uh, the buttons of your own share right so that is the basically optimal move press buttons in the shared quota and uh, after the buttons of shared quota are over uh, after the shared buttons like shared buttons are over who will win of course uh, after that after that the girl with the maximum remaining buttons maximum uh, buttons in individual quota will win right so let me just take an example here let's just take this example okay this example only uh, and try to trace it out how this works so 
Okay, so we're discussing this example, right? So Anna can press six buttons, so Katie can press six buttons, and this is their shared quota. So first, we know that optimal move is uh, try to spend from the shared quota. So Anna goes, Katie goes, Anna goes, Katie goes. So on, this will happen for like four times, right? This will happen for four times, and we'll land up at position like something like six, six, and eight, right? Uh, sorry, six, six, and one. But if four times this happens, uh, uh, four into two, eight will be gone. So six, six, one will happen. Now Anna's turn. Anna goes, right? So Anna goes and then it will become six, six, zero, six, six, zero. Fine. Now whose turn it is? Katie's turn. We have Katie's turn. Now my, I'm arguing that a girl will win. A girl with the maximum buttons in the individual quota will win. Basically, uh, maximum one. Basically, Katie, Katie's turn is this. So right now Katie can press six buttons and uh, Anna can press six buttons. Now if you see here, what will happen is Katie's turn is there, right? So first Katie, Anna, Katie, Anna, Katie, Anna will happen again and again. And then after three times, this will happen three times, and we will be at a position six. Uh, sorry, it will happen like zero, zero, zero. And Katie's turn is there now. Katie's turn is there, right? So Katie loses basically, right? So I hope you understand what happened. Right? First, they tried to spend on the shared quota. So first, this nine was exhausted. So it happened like Anna, Katie, Anna, Katie four times, and then we landed at this position six, six, one. And Anna goes, it became six, six, zero. The shared quota is exhausted. When Katie's turn started, shared quota exhausted here. Shared quota was exhausted. There were no buttons left in the shared quota. So Katie had to spend from her share, right? So since she didn't have more buttons in her quota uh, than Anna's, she lost in the end, right? Because what is happening, what just happened here is uh, even if like she had enough buttons equal to uh, Anna's share, she was she wasn't able to win because after like some number of moves, you can say specifically three times, what happened is both of them were turned to zero, but now Katie's turn was there. So Katie could have uh, won here if let's say there were seven left here. If there were seven left here after three times, this would have, this would be the case, right? This would be the case zero one zero, and then Katie's turn, and then we would landed in a position like this zero zero zero, and now Anna's turn would be there, and Anna would lose, right? So the argument that I'm trying to make is once uh, once the shared quota, basically once the shared quota, once the shared quota is exhausted, exhausted. Okay, some girl will have a turn, like some girl, some girl uh, will have a turn, right? Some girl will have a turn, okay? And that girl will win, that girl will win if and only if, like one, if either Anna will have or Katie will have. And it's obvious to see that uh, if the shared quota is even, then Anna will have the turn after the shared quota is exhausted or if it is odd here, in this case it was odd, right? So Katie had a turn. It's not that difficult to see, right? If this was even, then Anna Katie would have happened again and again, again and again for like, let's hear, let's say here four times. There was eight here, this would have happened four times. And after that, Anna will go. Anna can only win if her buttons are more, right? So some girl will have a turn. After that, a girl, that girl will win. Okay, that girl will win instead of this, I should write that girl That girl will win if and only if her quota is more than the other, right? So that's the question basically. First, try to spend on the shared quota, and once the shared quota is exhausted, either Anna will go or Katie will go. Whichever girl goes, she can only win if she has more buttons in her shared quota, and it's not that difficult to observe here, right? We just saw that even if they had equal number of buttons, the girl which goes loses, right? So that's the question. Let me just code it up very quickly. So if C mod 2 equal to 0 if shared quota is even basically Anna takes turn. Right? Anna, Anna's turn now basically. If after shared quota is exhausted, Anna's turn is there. So her quota has to be more if she has to win. Her quota has to be more if she has to win. Else second. Right? Else uh, if odd, that is the case that we discussed here, 9, then Katie's turn is now. Katie takes turn now. And she can win. And she can win only if her quota is, individual quota is more than Anna's. Okay, else see out first. Right? So I just quickly run it. So then check it if it works or not. Okay. Did I do something wrong here? Uh, okay, I haven't taken the input. That's good. <laughs> I should take the input, right? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, first, first, second, first, second, right? That was the th thing. First, first, second, first, second. So let me summarize the question quickly for you. Uh, first, we try to think about what should be an optimal move for a girl or a player, basically. The optimal move turned out to be 
spend from the shared quota press the shared set of buttons so that the other player uh, other player might not be able to uh, use this buttons right that was the first observation and then what we found out is after the shared but set shared buttons shared buttons quota is exhausted one of the girls will take turn and that girl will win if and only if her quota is more than the other one right that's obvious because even if it was equal it wasn't enough usually in like uh, question on games uh, you will have to trace out some examples to actually understand how things panned out uh, me taking out like four or five examples here is not going to help you that much but i gave you the idea how how you can approach this question now i traced out one example for you now it's your job just uh, change this 9 to 8 and trace out what happens why i am saying that uh, this has to be greater right uh, it might look a little bit scary right now okay, it, it might not make sense completely why it has to be greater but i just showed you i just showed you that uh, even if they are equal it's not enough fine so that's that about this question that we just quickly submit it and uh, Yeah, it works. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.